Whether you are tapping for a bucket or tapping to put maple tubing, the tapping procedure is pretty much identical. A hand brace and bit like this can be an inexpensive way to drill the taps. A tap hole should be drilled one and a half to two and a half inches deep. A standard spout needs a seven sixteenths drill bit. A health spout needs a five sixteenths drill bit. Drill the hole at a convenient height. This is where a tap for a bucket and a tap for tubing may differ. For a bucket, the tap is often lower and at a height convenient to lift the bucket off of the spout. This is often between waist and chest height. For tubing, the hole needs to be above the tubing and located so that the tubing or drop line goes downhill so as not to form a place where sap can pool and ferment when the sap stops running. After drilling the hole, press or hammer the spout lightly but snugly into the tree. For tubing, there is a difference in appearance between the sander spout, the 7 16 on the left, and a health spout, the 5 16 on the right. When the hole is drilled, the back of the hole should be slightly higher than the front of the hole to facilitate drainage. Here is an example of correct angle to hold the drill. To make sure you drill the hole to the desired depth, place a piece of tubing or tape on the drill bit so that you can see when to stop drilling. The portable drill with battery pack has become a very popular tool for tapping trees. Unlike this pitcher, use a small hammer and just lightly tap the spout into the tree. Hammering too hard on taps can cause the bark and wood to split, allowing leakage and microorganisms to contaminate the hole, especially if tapping occurs when the wood is frozen. If you do not press the drill straight in and out of the tree, you can cause the hole to be oval shaped, allowing leakage and microbial contamination to enter the spout. To avoid this, slow down, put both hands on the drill, and do not let the drill wobble or drift to one side. A good sharp bit is helpful in cutting a nice clean hole. Avoid old, dull, or dirty drill bits as the one seen here. Here is a photo of maple wood under a microscope. A tap hole should be cleanly cut into the tree. Otherwise you may obstruct some of the tiny structures in the wood that allow sap to move into the hole. The sap wood in the tree is alive and too much heat from a dull bit can increase the injury. How many taps should you drill in each tree? Recommendations are based on how big the tree is at four and a half feet above the ground. Traditional tapping guidelines suggest that a tree should be 10 inches in diameter or 31 inches in circumference before beginning to tap. When the tree is 18 inches in diameter or 57 inches in circumference, you could place two taps in that tree. When the tree is 25 inches in diameter or larger with a circumference over 79 inches, three taps per tree can be used. Trees do not die from being tapped. However, a section of wood above and below the tap is partitioned off by the tree and the hole is covered over with new growth of the tree. When tapping, you want to avoid tapping into that old tap and partitioned off area of wood. As the tree grows, the old tap is buried deeper and deeper into the wood of the tree. By beginning to tap when trees are too small, or tapping at a rate that does not allow the tree to grow over old taps before you tap that area again means you will be tapping into some old partitioned wood resulting in poor quality and reduced quantity of sap. This series of slides illustrates what eventually happens if you start tapping a small tree that is growing slowly. In about 25 years, taps will be likely to hit old partitioned wood in the back of the tap. What you see on the outside of the tree may not indicate troubles awaiting on the inside. Usually you cannot see where taps were that are just an inch or so below the surface. The shavings that come out of the tree when you drill the tap hole is your view 
into the inside of the tree. If you tap into a poor or damaged area, the shavings will have a dark brown color. Taps into healthy wood will show a little color when you cut through the bark, but then the shavings will be white to very light yellow. Dark shavings indicate that you get less sap and poor quality sap from that tap. You should probably abandon this tap rather than collect sap from such a hole. Move to a different area on the tree. White shavings from this drill indicate a good tap hole. Note also how lightly the tap is driven with the hammer. So how do you know what is inside the bark of a maple tree? Observe the shavings as you drill. Note their color and how deep before hitting dark colored shavings. Once you have drilled a hole with dark shavings, it's a good idea to mark that area of the tree with paint so that you will know to avoid putting another tap hole there in future years. Whoever tapped this tree kept all the taps exactly at the same level. By moving taps up and down as well as around the tree, you will have more access to clean white wood. These cuts of previous tapped sugar maples show that you should move taps up and down by 6 to 14 inches to avoid stained and partitioned areas. Following a pattern of tapping around and up and down the tree will help you avoid drilling into old stained and partitioned wood. The pattern of tapping described in the previous slide has been used on the tree in this photo. Creating such a large horizontal distance between taps, however, will bring the holes all the way around the tree before it has a chance to cover the old tapped area with enough clean new wood. By moving up and down, the chances of hitting the old taps are reduced, but taps need to be closer together to increase the time it takes to go all the way around the tree. How many years do you need to avoid drilling into the same spot before an old tap will be completely covered? In the example tree, it took 16 years to put 2 inches of wood on the radius of the tree. If you are tapping 2 inches deep, you would not want to return to this spot for the next 16 years. Tapping 1.5 inches deep would be even better in this case. Look up before you tap. Dead trees don't make much sap. Tapping under a big branch or avoid being under a dead branch does not make a difference. The vessels of a tree gradually swirl around as it goes up the tree.